Hey Chicky, so okay, today we are doing fire tips with a spot of hand painting at the end. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. So for this one, I'm starting off by painting all of my nails with two coats of OPI's Who Are You Calling Bossy? Once that was dry, I added a coat of Sesh Feed on all of my nails because I'll be using nail vinyls from Snail Vinyls today. And you must use a top coat over your base colour before placing vinyls of any kind or stickers of any kind on your nails or it will pull up your base colour. Ew. So these are the vinyls that I'll be using. They're from Snail Vinyls. All the details about everything I use will be in the description box down below as per usual. Uh, now I'm using the top part of the vinyl as opposed to the bottom part of the vinyl. Now I'm starting off with my pinky and I've realised that this vinyl is a bit too big for my pinky so I decided to cut it in half. It's always important to remember to wait at least 15 minutes after you've added your top coat over your base colour. Uh, I'm using Sesh Feet so I, that, uh, 15 minutes is good for me but if you're using something other than Sesh Feet I can't say for sure that 15 minutes is going to be enough, it maybe have to be 20. So I'm going to start off by using OPI's Silver Canvas which is the base colour for the new colour paints collection. I'll be using three of the colour paints paints or polishes paints paints. Anyway, you can see that I've had a bit of a mishap. This seems to happen to me more than anyone else that I've ever seen. But um, if you work really quickly, you can clean up these sorts of messes. I'm just using my non-acetone remover and a small brush. Very easy to clean up. So I just wanted to show you that process again because I wanted to basically prove to you that I can use nail vinyls without mucking it up. <laughs> oh well. So once the silver is completely dry, which takes virtually no time, I'm coming in with three of the colour paints, the yellow, the orange and the red. And we're just going to be blending. So this is, this these colour paints collection from OPI is, they claim is the first blendable nail polish collection. And I think it works really well, to be honest. Uh, it, it is much better than their, their colour tints or their tints collection which was very thick and stringy and dried out really quickly and it was very hard to work with. This seems, the consistency of this seems to be much more like uh, a cross between nail polish and paint. It doesn't seem to dry out too quickly while you're working with it so yeah I really like it. I think I'm going to be having a lot of fun with this stuff. Once your flames are dry, you can go ahead and seal it all in with a good quality top coat. I'm using Sesh Feet as per usual. And now I'm going to do something really, really ridiculous. Um, some people might think. I don't really happen to think that way. I'm going to paint all of my nails, or I'm sorry, all of my fingers. Um, and not all of my fingers, like most of three quarters, probably a little bit more than that, of my fingers for the um, one of the, the photographs that I want to take of these nails simply because when I took the photo without this, I just didn't think the flame stood out very well. So I decided, I don't know, um, to paint my, my, my fingers. I keep saying nails, but I paint to paint my fingers black. And I thought, I figured that that would make the flame stand out a lot better. Now this is, as I showed you before, non-toxic acrylic craft paints, the paint I normally use on my nails. It does not gonna hurt me and it's gonna come off really easily. It literally came off in five minutes less than in warm soapy water. So no big deal. Everybody needs to just calm down. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I, I just found this really cool. I really liked it. I didn't actually want to take it off. I really didn't. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you like this one. You can see from this shot and from the next shot that I'm gonna show you, it made the fire stand out really well. This is my opinion. 
and I hope that you feel the same way. Anyway, thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, thank you for subscribing, and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.